Hi, I'm Andy from Autodesk Navisworks. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create animations that record movement around your project. There are two ways that you can record viewpoint animations. First off, I'm going to use the navigation tools to move around the model and record a fairly simple animation. Let's start by clicking the Home button on the View Cube, which appears when you hover over the View Cube. There, now we can see a nice full view of our model. Now I'm going to select the Orbit tool on the navigation bar to navigate the model, and then I'm ready to start recording. All I do is open up the Animation tab and click Record. Now I can spin the model around, and when I'm done click Stop to stop the recording. If I open up the Save Viewpoints window, you can see that this has been saved automatically. And now if I click Play up in the Playback panel, I can see the animation I just made. Cool, huh? OK, now I'm going to show you the second way of recording animations, which is to create a series of viewpoints as keyframes and let Autodesk Navisworks do the rest. Let's start by navigating down to the bottom corner of the model. There we go. Now I want to save this as a new viewpoint. Now that's done, I can create a few more viewpoints for the animation. Let's start by walking along the side of the building. When I'm halfway down, I can save another viewpoint. Then walk down to the end of the building and yep, save another viewpoint. Then to finish off our little tour, let's walk through to the other side of the building, then save this as a viewpoint as well. Now this is where the magic happens. I right click to create a new animation, then drag the viewpoints I just created into the animation. So now each viewpoint is now a key frame in the animation. I just need to set the duration of the animation by right clicking and selecting edit. I think I'll set it to 15 seconds. And that's it, all done. Now I go to click the play button again, and you can see that Autodesk Navisworks moves between the viewpoints I saved to create a nice smooth animation. Now when I save the model, I can reuse these animations whenever I want. So I've shown you two different methods for creating animations of your model. Why not try it out yourself? and create your own animations. Thanks for watching.